polynomial let's revise what we have seen yesterday so we have seen some algebraic expressions and from this we have seen uh, we have find out power of each variable and uh, you know or zero that is whole number that means the power of the variable if whole number then only it will be called as a polynomial so the definition of polynomial is in an algebraic expression if the powers of the variable are whole numbers then the that algebraic expression is known as polynomial and this is also a polynomial and the numbers are called as constant polynomial 6 minus 7 half 0 root 3 doesn't mean it it should not be a whole number but any number can be there root 0 any number it will be a constant polynomial and uh, simultaneously we have seen how to uh, how to say whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomial or not so you can see here 1 upon y it has power minus minus 1 and uh, root y has power half so the power of the variable is half and minus 1 simultaneously so these are not a polynomial okay then then we we have seen types of polynomials based on number of terms with which are monomials binomials and trinomials in the polynomial 2x is to 7 minus 5x plus 9 which is the highest power of the variable so Uh, we are done with which is the highest highest power of the variable is called the degree of the variable and degree of zero polynomial uh, degree of the polynomial in more than one variable the highest sum of the powers of the variable in each term of polynomial is the degree of the polynomial hmm? so here you can see 3m raised to 3 and raised to 6 plus 7m square and cube so here you can say 3 plus 6 equal to 9 is the degree of the given polynomial then types of polynomial based on degrees are linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial given polynomial in in standard form coefficient form and index form of a polynomial so here the given polynomial is x to 4 minus 2x square plus 6x plus 5 so we will see directly a, uh, in this table of page number 39 Write the polynomial in standard form. So this polynomial can be written in standard form. This is called the standard form of the polynomial. You can see in this table, write, uh, write the polynomial in standard form. 3m raised to 5 minus 7m plus 5m cube plus 2 uh, can be written as 3m raised to 5 plus 5m cube minus 7m plus 2. Write it in index form by considering all the missing terms with coefficient zero. So you zero m raised to 4 is added in between 3m raised to 5 and 5m cube. And zero m square is added in between five m cube plus minus seven m. Okay, so you can it can be written as three m raised to five zero m raised to four plus five m cube plus zero m square minus seven m plus two. And its coefficient form is three zero five zero minus seven two all separated by comma and it is in round bracket. Degree of the polynomial is five. So we'll see practice set five point uh, three point one. 
annotation is not available just wait in that is at 3.1 the first question is state whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomial and justify your answer so the first uh, polynomial is not a polynomial because index of y in 1 upon y is minus 1 first uh, term is y raised to 1 and second term is 1 upon y which is 1 upon y and which will convert into y, y raised to minus 1 So minus one is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. Two so minus root five x. It is also not a polynomial. Root five x x x ko hai. Yahan pe the question is uh, written wrong. This is like two minus five root x. The x power has half. X has half power. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. It is also not a polynomial. X square plus seven x plus nine. It is a polynomial. And the next question is write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomial. Hmm? It is also simple. M cube has uh, the coefficient one for in the first one. You can see in the second one, um, m cube the coefficient of m cube is minus root three, and in third one, coefficient of m cube is minus two upon three. Okay. See the next question. Write the polynomial in x using the given information. This is also we have done. X monomial with degree seven is x is to seven. Binomial with degree thirty five is two x is to thirty five minus seven. Trinomial with degree eight is x is to eight minus two x is to five plus three. Fine. The next question is the practice set three point one and three point two is quite big. And the next uh, the practice sets are. But simple and easy. So, write the degree of the given polynomial. Now the main question is there: How to find out the degree of the polynomial? Root five has a degree zero because it is root five into x is to zero, and x is to zero has degree directly. You can write zero. X is to two has degree two. Two root two m raised to ten minus ten is has degree ten. I s degree is ten. Here x is to zero is there, m is to zero is there, so 10 is the highest degree, highest power. 2p minus root 7. The answer is 1. 3p minus y cube plus y is to 5. The answer is 5. The highest power is 5. Then this is a mixed variable x, y, z. So the highest degree, highest power is 3. You have to add uh, index of all the x, y, z. Okay, then m raised to three, n raised to seven, minus three m raised to five n plus m n has the degree ten. Fine. Okay, the next question. Classify the following polynomial as linear, quadratic, and cubic polynomial. Okay. The first question is two x square plus three x plus one. Uh, this is quadratic. Because it has degree two, it has degree one. Therefore, this is linear. This one has degree one, so this is also linear. This one has degree three. This cubic, this one has degree two. This is quadratic. We are just doing the revision of three point one. That's why I am running fast. Question number six: Write the following polynomials in standard form. M cube plus three plus five m. You have to write in descending order. M cube plus three plus five m. M cube plus five m plus three. You have to write in descending order. Just in standard form, you have to write in descending order. Now, so for uh, what you will write over here? M y raised to five first, then two y raised to four, then three y cube, then uh, minus y square, minus seven y. Then the constant is remaining minus half. Oops. This way you have to write in descending order. Next question number seven is x cube. Write the following polynomials in coefficient form. 
coefficient form is you have to write all the coefficients of all the terms okay so all terms should be available over here and you have to write in standard form x cube plus 0 x square plus 0 x minus 2 this way you have to write in descending order so the coefficient will be 1 comma 0 comma 0 minus comma minus 2 fine the next one is 2 m raised to 4 minus 3 m square plus 7 so here m cube is m cube is not there and m is not there so all the things you have to write 2 here then m cube ka zero coefficient then minus 3 m square then zero of m then constant is remaining plus 7 all should be in round bracket separated by comma now the coefficients of 5y is 5y means 5y plus 0 so constant is zero so you have to write in this way 5 comma 0 If the constant is there, you just have to write minus two upon three, or else you can write a single term set minus two upon three in round bracket. Fine. This is the next question. Uh, write the polynomials in standard form. The coefficients are given. You have to write it in standard form. I told you last yesterday the number of coefficients are three, so the degree will be three minus one equal to two. The degree should be two. Who? So, so we will start with vari using variable x square x so the degree is x square and its coefficient is 1 plus the next coefficient is 2 x square hai to next one will be x the next coefficient is 3 it will be having x is to 0 so it can be written as x square plus 2x plus 3 this way 5 comma 0 comma 0 minus 1 So here five coefficients are there. So five coefficients can be written uh, for degree will be x raised to four, and its coefficient is five. You have to write over here five plus zero x raised to four plus zero x raised to three plus zero x minus one. So it can be written as five x raised to four minus one. This way you have to write minus two comma two minus two comma two. It can be written as two x minus two x raised to three. Plus two x square minus two x plus two. The next question was write the appropriate polynomial in the boxes quadratic. You have to classify all uh, in quadratic, cubic, and linear, binomial, trinomial, and monomial. So you can see here quadratics are these are quadratic polynomial because it has degree two, and this is cubic. These two are cubic polynomials because degree is three. The linear is x plus seven. Next one is binomial, trinomial, and monomial. So binomial is this one because it has two terms, and this one also has two terms. Then trinomial is this one, and monomial is x square. Fine. So we are done with practice at three point one revision also. Now our next topic is operations on polynomials. how to do the addition subtraction division and multiplication in last year you have seen uh, you have seen some uh, co operations on polynomials so, so coefficients are added or subtracted while adding or subtracting like algebraic terms like terms you have to add and unke unko only coefficients you have to add or subtract fine so we will see some examples here one example is given From page number forty, solved examples are there. We will solve all the solved examples of page number forty-one and forty-two. Hmm? Coefficients are added or subtracted while adding or subtracting like algebraic terms. So your example is there: five m cube minus seven m cube. It can be written as five minus seven m cube. Hmm? It should be taken together like terms. So the answer is minus two m cube. This is your subtraction. Hmm? while multiplying or dividing two algebraic terms we multiply or divide their coefficients we also use laws of integers okay all the laws of integers so here the question is minus 4y cube you can see the question minus 4y cube into 2y square z so the like terms ka jo index index hai that should be added because 
you can see a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n can be written as a raised to m plus n that means the base should be written one so here what you will do we will take like terms together y raised to 3 into y raised to 2 is there so it can be written as y raised to 5 okay hmm? then minus 4 into 2 the constants will be multiplied so minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 so minus 8 y raised to 5 is done so z is only single so it will be written as minus 8 y raised to 5 into z fine the next question is So minus 12 a square b divided by 3 ab square equal to 4 a upon b. How it will come? 12 a square b. It can be written in numerator and denominator form. So you will you can cancel all. 3 fours are 12. A a will get cancelled. One a n down a. Then b b will get cancelled. Your b square is there. So one b will get cancelled. One b will be remaining. So what you will get here, four a upon b is left. So that will be your answer. On page number forty-one, one question is there: subtract five a square minus two a from two a seven a square plus five a plus six. So here it is written as subtract this from this. Subtract this from this. So what you will write first? You have to write this first and this second. Okay. So your first polynomial is seven a square plus five a plus six minus five a square minus two a. When you are doing subtraction, sign will get changed. As we have studied in the lesson number four, I think so. Ha. Huh? Four, nine, five, five. Linear equations in two variable addition uh, subtraction we have done, and we have solved. Simultaneous equation using these properties. Fine. So to seven a square plus minus five a square is there. So you have to open the bracket so that the sign will get changed. First bracket will be remain as it is. Seven a square plus five a plus six minus this will will become minus five a square and minus two a will become plus two a. Fine. So your Expression is seven a square plus five a plus six minus five a square plus two a. So how you have to write now? You have to keep like terms together. Seven a square minus five a square. It will be written over here. Then what is left? Plus five a plus two a. It will be written together. And the constant is single plus six is left. Who? So seven a square. Minus five a square can be written as seven minus five. We'll get we will take common. The a square will be like this. So you can do it directly also. You have to keep it in your mind. A square a square minus nahi hoga. It will be kept common, and it the answer will be two a square plus five a plus two a will become seven a plus six. So your answer is two a square plus seven a plus six. Okay. You see the next question. Next question is minus two a multiplied by five a square. So as I told you, you have to add index minus two multiplied by five is minus ten, and a multiplied by a square is a cube because a has one power a one plus two is three. Okay. See the next one multiply m square minus five multiply by M cube plus two m minus two. You, you, what you'll have to write? You have to write first question. In the solution, you have to write the first question. M square minus five multiplied by m square plus two m minus two. After that, you can see each term of second polynomial is multiplied by each term of first polynomial. That means you have to multiply m square into m cube, m square into two m, m square into minus two. So first term is complete. Then minus five into m cube, minus five into two m, minus five into minus two. So you can write in this way m square into the whole polynomial minus five into the same polynomial m square plus two m minus two. 
explain we'll see next how you will get the answer right when m square multiplied by m cube you will get m cube m raised to 5 m square multiplied by 2m you get 2m cube m square multiplied by minus 2 is minus 2m square first polynomial is done then minus 5 multiplied by m cube is minus 5m cube minus 5 multiplied by 2m is 5 to the 10 minus 10m and minus 5 multiplied by minus 2 is plus 10 Minus five multiplied by minus two will become plus ten. Fine. So what you'll have to do here next, you have to keep like terms together. So m raised to five have has no like terms. You it will be kept as it is. Two m cube minus five m cube will return together. Minus two m raised to two has no like terms. Minus ten m has no like terms. Plus ten. So you can see only this will be added or subtracted. So 2m cube minus 5m cube will become minus 3m cube, and all the things will be written as it is in the next polynomial. So your answer is m raised to 5 minus 3m cube minus 2m square minus 10m plus 10. Here the degree of the product is 5. Fine. We'll see the next question. Addition. Add 3m square n. Plus 5m n square minus 7m n plus 2m square n minus m n cube m n square plus m n. So here you have to do the addition. Just wait. I will take one. So we were doing addition of these two polynomials. It is given over here. This one and this one. So what you'll have to do in the addition, you don't have to change the sign. M n square minus seven m. You have to write in bracket and three m two m raised to two n two m square n minus m n square plus m n. Okay. So sign will not get open the bracket as it is and keep the like terms together. Three m raised to n plus two m square n. Oh, five m n square minus m n square it will be kept together. Minus seven m n plus m n. It will be written together. So the answer is three plus two is five m square n. Five minus one is four m n square. Minus seven plus m n is minus six m n. Okay. So this way you have to find uh, do the addition, subtraction, multiplication 
and division also division one sum also we will do before starting practice set 3.2 practice set 3.2 is very big and it's quite interesting and very important for your 10th standard okay now the fifth question is on page number 42 Degree of one variable is five, and the degree of other polynomial is five. Then what is the degree of their product? Hmm? So their product will be three plus five is eight. So you have to see the relation between how the answers of addition and subtraction and multiplication and divisions are come and degree how the degrees are getting changed. Okay. The next question is divide two plus two x square by x plus two. Okay, and write the answer in the given format. Dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Let us write the polynomial in standard form. P of x is equal to two plus two x square. This is your dividend. Okay, so dividend को तुमको divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder के form में तुमको arrange करना है. So when you will write in standard form, it will become First, you will write two x square plus zero x is not available, so you have to write zero x plus two. Okay, so this is your standard form. After that, first step is get is done. Our next step is you have to write in the division form format. Divide sixteen divided by three. This way. This is your dividend. This is your divisor. So here you have to write two x is to two plus zero x plus two, and divisor will be written over here on the left hand side x plus two. Okay. Now you have to divide two x square divided by x. So first term can be divided. So you will get two x over here. This two x can be written over here on the at the place of quotient, and this two x can be multiplied by x plus two. You will get what you have to add, add minus. Okay, so that is two x is to two plus two into two is four x. Fine. So we get two x square plus four x, which will be written over here. As we are doing subtraction, the signs get changed. Plus two x square minus two x square will get reduced, and zero minus four x will become minus four x. So we get zero minus four x as minus four x. Now we take plus two from dividend next to minus four x, so it will become minus four x minus two. Fine. Now minus four x minus two का भी first term तुमको लेना है minus four x and the first term of the divisor dividing it will get divided then we will get minus four over here this minus four will be written over at the place of quotient next to minus two x uh, sorry two x two x minus four हो जाएगा so my minus four should be multiplied by x plus two It will become minus four x minus four into plus two is minus eight. You will write over here this way. Hmm? Now we will do the subtraction. Uh, the your sign gets changed. Minus four x will become four, plus four x. Minus eight will become plus eight. Minus four x plus four x will get reduced. You will get zero over here. Plus two and plus eight will become ten. So your remainder is ten. Your quotient is. 2x minus 4, as you can see in the next slide, your div dividend is 2x is to 4 plus 0x plus 2. This one is your dividend. You can write the first question also, and you can write it in standard form also. Okay? So your divisor is this one. Dividend को इस जगह पे dividend लिखना है, divisor की जगह पे divisor लिखना है. Multiplied by quotient is 2x minus 4. It will be written over here. Plus remainder is ten, so you will write plus ten over here. Hmm? So your dividend, you have to write in this way: dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. This much is enough. 
don't need to write this much so many things okay only this much is enough let's see the next i told you before starting uh, uh you can see on page number 42 the method one is your division method hmm? your standard division method number maybe humko yahi method karte hai and the and for dividing polynomial also the same method is been uh, followed the so method two is linear method of division that method has been cancelled or reduced from your portion okay now we will start with practice set 3.2 the first question is use the given letters to write the answer so the the first question is there are eight trees in the village lat in the number of trees if the number of trees increases every year by b then how many trees will be there after x years okay the first question is this one so after x years that means you have to what you'll have to do here the number of trees at present a we will do it by number also we can do it by number also ha huh? so in the first year it was 4 sorry first year it was number 4 and away after 4 years that is after 4 years every year the increment is 3 so you we write like this we can write like this also 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 So it can be written as four plus three multiplied by four. Hmm? Same way you have to write a plus a trees in the village is there. If the number of trees increases every year by b, every year by b. So x years after x years, what will be the number of trees? A plus b x. This way you have to write your expression. Okay. So the uh, how you will write the solution? The number of trees at present is a. Equal to a. Hmm? It here variables is already given. A trees are there. The number of trees at present is a. The number of trees increase every year by b. Number of trees will increase in b x years by b x in x years. So b multiplied by x. Hmm? So the number of trees in the village lot after x years will be a plus b x. This way you have to write. The answer is. There will be a plus b x trees in the village lot. Uh, this will be only for if it is for only one mark, you can write the di answer directly and your assumption. Okay. Or uh, if it is for two marks, you have to write the whole solution in this way. Okay? You can take the screenshot of student. It's students. The next question is for the parade. There are y students in each row. Rows are formed. Then, how many students are there for the parade in all? Number of rows for parade. You can see, hmm, as we arrange students in each column, and four rows are there, it will be four cross four is equal to sixteen. If three rows are there and four columns are there, it will be three multiplied by four is twelve. This way, you write the answer. So here also, you have to write. Rows of parade number of rows of parade is x years x number a number of rows uh, students in each row is y hmm? number of rows are x and number of students in each row that means if it is five and six rows are there five multiplied by six is there so you have to write both uh, you have to write multiply both x multiplied by y so you will get total number of students for the parade. That is x multiplied by y. Therefore, the answer is the total number of students for the parade is x y. Fine. We can take the sc uh, screenshot. Next question is the tens and units place of a two-digit number. So that is not done. We will see next ne directly to the next question. Add the given polynomials. Second question. X cube minus two x square minus nine. Our first polynomial is x cube minus two x cube x cube minus two x square. Sorry, minus nine. This is the first polynomial, and second polynomial is my five. So it change the sign. You have to write this in brackets first. 
then open the bracket hmm? keep like terms together hmm? x cube plus 5x cube minus 2x square is alone plus 2x is also alone minus 9 plus 9 is our constant it will be kept together okay so you have to keep like terms together you will get x cube plus 5x cube is 6x cube minus 2x square plus 2x minus plus 9 plus 9 will become cancel or you can say zero okay so the answer is 6x cube minus 2x square plus 2x next question is add the given polynomials minus 7m raised to 4 plus 5m cube plus root 2 this is your first polynomial students you can see this is your first polynomial and this is your second polynomial 5m raised to 4 minus 3m cube plus 2m square plus 7m minus 3 So you have to write both of them in bracket. Then open the bracket as it is. Hmm? No need to change the sign. Then keep the like terms together. Seven hmm? m raised to four plus five m raised to four. They are kept together. Then five m cube has like terms minus three m square. These are kept together. Then uh, minus three m cube is alone. Plus two m square is also alone. Plus three m is there. Then plus root two minus six can be written together. Okay. So addition or subtraction of these two uh, pairs. Okay. Minus seven plus five is minus two m raised to four. Five m cube minus three m cube is two m cube. Then this will be written as it is. This will be written as it is. And this can be also written as it is. Okay, so the answer is minus two m raised to four plus two m cube plus two m square plus three m minus six plus root two. This way you have to write the final answer. Next question number three. You can see subtract the second polynomial from the first. You have to subtract second polynomial from the first. That means you have to write first polynomial first and second polynomial second. Okay. So the first polynomial is this one. Just write in this bracket. Second polynomial in bracket. Okay. Then to perform subtraction, we have to change the signs of second polynomial. First polynomial we have to write as it is x square minus 9x plus root 3. And next second polynomial के लिए तुमको sign change करना है. So minus 19 will become plus 19x plus root 3 will become minus root 3. And plus seven x square will become minus seven x square. Fine. Now you have to keep the like terms together. X square has one like term as minus seven x square. X square minus seven x square will become minus six x square. Fine. And nine x minus nine x has like term plus nineteen x. Minus nine x plus nineteen x will become plus ten x. Okay. Now next is. Uh, this one is done. This one is done. This this is also done. So plus root three and minus root three is balanced. Plus root three minus root three will become zero. So your answer is minus six x square plus ten x. Uh, and uh, you have to write answer in this form. Okay. You see the next subtraction sum. Two a b square plus three a square b minus four a b. This is your first polynomial. You have to subtract second polynomial from the first. Second polynomial you have to write in second and first polynomial first. Okay. So to perform subtraction, we have to change the sign of second polynomial. So two a b square will be written as it is. Three a square b minus four a b will be written as it is. Minus plus three a b will become minus three a b. Minus eight a b square plus eight a b square plus two a square b minus two a square b. So sign gets changed. You get this polynomial. Now you have to keep the like terms together. Two a square a b square plus eight a b square. It can be written together as like this: three a square b minus two a square b. Fine. Minus four a b minus three a b. It will be written together. Okay. So see the answer. 
2ab square plus 8ab square will become 8ab square. 3a square b minus 2a square b is a square b minus 4ab minus 3ab will become minus 7ab. So your answer is 10ab square plus a square b minus 7ab. This is your final answer. Now we will do some questions of multiplication. The question four is multiply the given polynomial. Here you can see monomial is multiplied by trinomial. So how to do it? It's quite easy because the one polynomial is monomial and one polynomial is trinomial. Fine. So monomial is multiplied by trinomial. You have to write two x. Multiply by x square minus 2x minus 1. You have to write in bracket. Okay. Now each term should be each term of second polynomial is multiplied by each term of first polynomial. You will get 2x multiplied by x square is 2x cube. 2x multiplied by minus 2x is minus 4x square. And 2x multiplied by minus 1 is minus 2x. So you get 2x cube minus 4x square minus 2x. So your answer is. 2x cube minus 4x square minus 2x. <coughs> Second question of multiplication of polynomial is here. You can see one polynomial is binomial and second polynomial is trinomial. So you have to multiply my binomial with trinomial. Okay. So here also you have to multiply each term of second polynomial by each term of the first polynomial. So first, you have to write in this way: x plus two five multiplied by x cube plus two x square plus two. It should be written in bracket. Okay. Then minus one multiplied by x cube plus two x square plus two. This way you have to write. Okay. That then each term is multiplied by second polynomial. So you have to write x plus x plus two five multiplied by x cube is x plus two x. Then again, x plus two five multiplied by two x square is 2x is 27. Then x is 25 multiplied by 2 is 2x is 25. Slowly, slowly you have to do each term, okay? And multiply each term with second polynomial. Minus 1 multiplied by x cube is minus x cube. Then minus 1 multiplied by 2x square is minus 2x square. Only if you multiply minus 1 with the second polynomial, the uh, only sign will get changed, okay? Minus 1 multiplied by plus 2 is minus 2. Fine. So you got this polynomial. You have to keep like terms together. You can see x plus two has eight uh, has no like term as it is answer x plus two eight plus two x plus two seven plus two x plus two five minus x cube minus two x square minus two. This is your final answer. So division of polynomials, as I told you, only one method is there. Division of for division of polynomial. Hmm. One more division multiplication method we will see. Uh, the third question is two y plus one multiplied by y square minus three y cube plus three y. Okay. So each term should be multiplied with the second polynomial. You can see here two y plus one is multiplied by this. Is written in bracket. Then 2y multiplied by y square minus 2y cube plus 3y. The second polynomial is written in bracket. Then plus 1 multiplied by y square minus 2y cube plus 3y. Again, second polynomial is written in bracket. So you have to multiply all this. 2y multiplied by each each term of the second polynomial will become 2y cube. Plus 2y by minus 2y cube is minus 4y square by raised to 4. Then 2y multiplied by 3y is plus 6y square. Then 1 is multiplied by this will be written as as it is y square minus 3y 2y cube plus 3y. Okay. So here you can see some like terms are there. You can see. Y is to minus four. Y is to four will be written over here. Then two y cube 
minus 2y cube will get cancelled or you can say it as 0. Hmm? Then 6y square plus 1y square is 7y square. Then what is left plus 3y is left. You can write over here. So your answer is minus 4y raised to 4 plus 7y square plus 3y. Hmm? As we are done with factor set 3.2, some word problems are there in the first question. Then addition of polynomial, subtraction, division of polynomial, and the revision of the practice set 3.2 again. 3.1 we will not do it again because 3.2 we have done twice. 3.2 revision we will do it in the next lecture. And synthetic division also we will study in the next lecture. Is that clear, students? You see? Hello, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Have it a capital sign? What is your doubt? The team. Not asking any question. There's one. Okay, I will end my lecture over here. Have a nice day.